What's up? I'd like to address a few things. Actually, just one thing. Um, I don't know if anyone's been watching on YouTube. I'm sure there's probably been a lot of videos going around about VidCon and all this and all that. And, um, well, it being my first time going, I had absolutely no clue. I mean, I sort of, I mean, I, I knew what it was a little, but I didn't really know the whole stigma behind it, you know, like, uh, you know, people having beef with this, people having beef with that, you know, because it's, it's just social media. So, you know, you're expecting some people are not going to like somebody and, you know, someone's not going to like this person. So, you know, and then you just kind of leave it at that. So I was watching this video yesterday about, um, um, you know, uh, about VidCon. And I heard, like, a lot of things about how there's being petitions on how uh, they should shut down VidCon. And it being my first time going, um, you know, I really don't know how I feel about that myself personally. Because, I mean, I kind of liked it. It's kind of cool where you can actually connect with a lot of people that you follow. For me, I, I do a lot of YouTubing. But I also do a lot of other social media besides I do Twitter, You Now, which is a big one, Live.me, and various other social media apps. And so when you shut down an avenue, something like that, it kind of makes it hard for you to like want to meet some of these other people at social gatherings like that because, granted, it's one thing to like see them when you're chatting with them or just, you know, chatting with them on uh you know on these media apps versus actually physically seeing them and actually getting an actual conversation beyond just typing and whatnot so i think that's kind of dumb but then on the same token you get um these idiots that come in there and i understand you know it's you know it's a social media platform and you get to meet all these big people and whatnot but i don't know if you heard about this one guy chris whoever his name was um, someone had posted a video on him. Uh, he was um, treating all these security guards pretty messed up. He was talking about like, well, you know, you're ugly. I make a lot more money than you. And and it's pretty much just being a douche about it. And in the long run, who was the guy really? I mean, if I were to go and ask, you know, if I were to know if I knew who the guy's name was, I showed you how much I don't know who the guy is. But if you were to go and ask anyone who Instagrams a lot who this guy was, probably half would probably respond as to, I don't know who the guy is. So the guy this is literally being a douchebag to these security guards. And I saw the video on it and somebody recorded it. And I was amazed at how much patience this guy had. Because as a security guard, especially if you're working at a convention and you got all these kids running around and people acting like, you know, idiots and you see some famous YouTuber or some famous vlog or whatever, you know, you lose your mind, you go running after him and whatnot. I can understand that. You can do that with fans. I mean, if I see a movie actor and I don't know who he is, I'm not going to freak out and start running at him. But yeah, you get a, a little bit of sense of nostalgia about it. But this guy really was just being a douche about it. I mean, he didn't have to treat the guy the way he was. I mean, really. And, you know, Grant, I mean, I heard there was like, you know, security guards, you know, choking out, uh, famous or other youtubers and all these other famous people and that I don't know about that I know that there was a fight going on I heard someone got banned in that um, that happened like a day before I um, day before I got there and whatnot and I just think it's kind of just to me personally it's just kind of dumb to petition to want to end something like that because then you're really what you're doing is you're making it hard for other people who want to get into the social media who see these people like me, I like I don't even I, I know who Eugene Clooney is. If you don't know who she is, she has a you now account. You should follow her. She's pretty cool. Now I like her. I remember when I first heard about her, um, there was like an article I saw on the net. Um, someone talking about how she would like was anorexic and she was like, uh, you know, sticking her finger down her throat and she was getting herself, you know, trying to like make herself look skinny and all this. And you know, stuff like that, I get taken with a grain of salt. I mean, there's just some people, I mean, it's just dumb. I mean, it's the internet. People are always going to say something about somebody. Now, she had made it, she, um, I always wanted to meet her. And it was just sad that she showed up the day after I left. Um, it would have been nice to have met her. But, I mean, to me, that's what VidCon is about. You grant you're going to get those bad seeds in there. But just because of that, or you get some bad incidents, that doesn't make the whole event, you know, worth having to shut down because of it because then you're thinking of the now instead of later on and what happens down in the future say you make it big 
or someone else makes it big and you follow that person and you want to meet that person you want to get advice like you know oh, how did you get this how'd you do that um, how do I make my YouTube grow or I follow you on Instagram you know how do you get this where'd you get your idea and you just get things like that and it's just I think it's just dumb to kind of get this petition to go for that if if there's ways of getting around if there's a way to protect it then yes I can see that but to shut down something like this because of a few bad incidences I think it's just dumb and it's just stupid granted when I was there yes um I forgot who it was I think it was Logan Paul or Paul Logan one of the, it was one of the it was of the brothers I forget which one it was we were at the Hilton sitting down I saw one of the guys one of them run by me and then a flock of girls just literally just mass them just come running around and I mean I get it I understand you know this guy's a famous youtuber he makes a lot of videos and you've got these young girls who are just you know wanting to just get a chance to you know feel that and I can understand that but at the same token you also got to be aware that they're people also and like I said you're gonna have these few you're gonna have these few incidents where you're gonna have some of these um, social media um, personalities where some just let it go to their head and they think that elevates into the status of movie actors which honestly it doesn't I mean if you were to ask a movie actor who this person was they wouldn't even know they'd be just like oh okay and then walk off so what does that say about you grant you're maybe big in social media but they're bigger and they're bigger in social media so you're like the kind of like the you're like the fish and the shark so you know yeah, you make a little splash they make a huge splash so you know it just this to me, I just think it's just dumb, and like I said, it's just I'm just talking from my person, from my point of view, my personal opinion about it. I this is my first time going. I'm going again next year. Hopefully, this doesn't happen next year. Hopefully, there will be a VidCon next year, but I think there will be because I just bought my, I'm going to buy my pass, uh, creator pass this year, next year, and I really want to go and I really want to meet more people that I didn't get a chance to meet this year, and you know. If, if there's ways of trying to protect these kids at the same time making sure that these vloggers don't do anything stupid then yes do something about that but to just literally just to say I want we want to stop we want to we want to shut down VidCon because of it I just think that's dumb and it just doesn't make sense to me because now you're cutting down something that later on in the future someone else may want to have a venue in that but now they won't be able to because you had a few bad apples that have made it impossible for anyone else to want to do it so that's just that's just my personal opinion about it so I mean what do you think about it I mean you got any opinions about it do you think they should you don't think they should leave a comment uh, leave a comment um, subscribe like my videos and but no but seriously though just tell me what do you think about this do you think they should what do you think that they should do about it what are your ideas on what they can do to kind of make it a little bit more less strenuous for you know these you know for just the, con the convention itself making it easier for everybody so that everybody has a great time without having to worry about gosh there's some douchebag that's going to screw it up for everybody else or you know something like that so leave a comment thanks for watching see you next time